Yo, what's poppin? Welcome to Broman Rhapsody. This is where we review cars and motorcycles. I am here today at Motorcycles of Greensboro and I am super excited about this episode because I'm going to ride this and talk about this. It's a 2023 Kawasaki Ninja H2 SX SE. It's the 200 horsepower, almost 200 horsepower sport touring motorcycle from Kawasaki. So in today's episode, we're going to talk about the bike. I'll walk around, show you the features, take it out on the road, share my thoughts with you guys, talk about the cost of ownership and assign it a bro man score it's me it's your boy bro and i am your bro man So Kawasaki put out the Ninja H2R, the supercharged 300 horsepower track only bike. And then they decided to use it for a sport touring platform. And we have this, this puts out 197 horses and 101 pound feet of torque. That's insane, right? Insane. And at the heart is the supercharged 998cc inline four. Now this is a this is a big heavy bike uh, as well. So this weighs close to 600 pounds. But to make it more rideable, it has a whole suite of electronics. It's got rider aids of all kinds: traction control, lean sensing, ABS, uh, quick shifter, adaptive cruise, blind spot detection, launch control, and many many more such things. And I love this Kawasaki green. Uh, when we go out and take it out on a ride you'll see it in the sun it's got like little flakes in it which make it shine it's so sparkly i love it and you can get all of this for about thirty thousand dollars so we're gonna have a lot of fun with this motorcycle here today let's go ahead and do a quick walk around of this bike shall we and as you can see it's got led headlight there uh that's that's the radar for your uh, adaptive cruise for the frontal collision warning and all that cool cool stuff and look at it there it looks like a freaking alien and on the sides there you have the turning lights so these have the turning lights or the lean sensing headlights so whenever you turn in it's gonna light up the path it's got the massive 320 millimeter dual discs up front with the four piston brembo brake calipers this has a 24.7 degree rake angle what's the rake angle you ask door perpendicular from the steering mount follow the fork tube that angle is your rake angle short the rake angle the more nimble the bike is and larger the rake angle more stable it is at higher speeds highway speeds and such then tells you it's a Ninja H2SX on the side and the mirrors have turn signals on them. That's cool. And then at the heart is the supercharged inline four, 998cc inline four and it tells you it's supercharged there. How cool is that? And you can see the trellis frame. It's got a little bit of a trellis frame going on there and there. And it's got that four into one exhaust. So single exhaust, I like it. Oh, and look. It has a center stand, dang, and a single-sided swing arm. Let's see if we can get a better angle of the single-sided swing arm. Yeah, and then look at the bike from the side. I love those. I love the lines and the shape of the bike. The fuel tank comes down, this goes up. Yeah, I like it. And at the back, it's just, you have your tail light, your turn signal, and that's your module for uh, the blind spot monitoring. And it's a chain drive, of course it's a chain drive. You have little grab handles for your passenger. And if you look closer there, it also has saddlebag mounting points for if you wanted panniers and stuff. And apparently these saddlebags that come with this bike have 28 liters of storage space. So that's, that should give you plenty of storage. And as for the fuel tank, it's a, uh, I think it's a five gallon fuel tank. Yeah, I like the shape of that of the fuel tank as well. And look at the paint where the sun's hitting the fuel tank. You see the little sparkles? I don't know if you can see it in the video, but it's super sparkly. I like it. And it also tells you it's a SE. <laughs> and take a look at the seat. The seat looks nice and deep and well cut. Just in case you didn't know, the seat, even the seat tells you it's a ninja. <laughs> Let's look at the handlebar controls on the left. You have your passing lights and high beams on the top. Your selector buttons are going through the menu and the mode buttons. Selector going to the menu, cruise control, uh, heated grips. This is to reset stuff. 
<laughs> turn signal, hazard, and at the bottom you have the horn. And you also have adjustable levers on the bike, so this is the clutch on the left hand side. Adjust them according to your hand size and your preference and whatnot. And look here, it also has a power outlet. Okay, so this bike has keyless ignition, so that's your, and that's the key fob, nice Kawasaki logo. Uh, I love the design. And then you also have the little key here. Boom. And this key here. And what do you need this key for? Well, it's, it's keyless ignition, but to open the gas cap, you need the key. And as for the handlebar controls on your right hand side, you have your kill switch and starter button there and a function, function button. All right, so let's take a look at the beautiful TFT screen of this motorcycle. And it's got keyless ignition, so you need to have the key in your pocket and then turn this on. So you gotta press it once and then just turn it. And this thing, the whole dash lights up. The beautiful Kawasaki logo. Yeah, it tells you it's a Ninja H2SX. In my humble opinion, this is one of, one of the better uh, displays that I've seen on motorcycles. You have warning lights on both sides, and then you have your tachometer, digital speedometer. You can toggle around with this. This gives you your boost and your braking, your fuel gauge, uh, outside temperature, and your time. And you can, like I said, you can play around with all of this. So up here, you have, it tells you which gear you're on and the riding mode. You can change, you can toggle through the riding modes by pressing the mode buttons, the mode selector buttons. Yes, yeah, so you got drain, press it again, road, and sport. So you have rain, road, sport, and then the user, uh, like you can define your customizable mode. And then you can, you have your odometer. It gives you a current fuel economy, your lean angles, maximum lean. This is pretty cool, tire pressure, boost odometer that is noise same here current mpg fuel economy fuel range average speed all of that i like it you can toggle through toggle through stuff that's your lap timer i think you now that's your boost and your g-force boost and g-force gives you a lot of cool features cool stuff you can play around with boost and braking I like it. I'm about 5'10", 31 inch inseam. I can flat foot it easily on both sides. No problem. I like the seat, it's nice and comfy. Uh, the handlebars are not pulled back towards me. They are a little higher than the clip-ons. There's a little bit of a reach to get to them, but it doesn't feel like it's gonna be super uncomfortable. You have plenty of motorcycles here at Motorcycles of Greensboro, which is also known as the Motorcycle Enthusiast Center. This is my home away from home. They are a BMW, Ducati, and Moto Marini dealer, but they also have pre-owned bikes of all kinds like this and many more. So come on down, check them out. They're located here in Greensboro. Amazing folks, amazing peeps, knowledgeable folks. And th there's about 300 years of riding experience within the walls of the dealership. So come on down, check them out. And when you do, tell them the Broman sent you and they'll know that you're part of this whole crazy family of ours. <laughs> hey, do you guys happen to know what time it is? It's ride o'clock, let's go. So, if you guys are new to Broman, give us a like and hit that subscribe button. We put out content every week and your support would mean a lot. Let's take a listen to what she sounds like. <laughs> it's that busy inline four, man. Busy, busy inline four. Oh, yeah. You can hear that forced induction of the uh of the supercharger it's going like wah, wah, wah. <laughs> so for our review we are gonna start off in road mode because you know we gotta be chill in road mode so let's start this ride off with our first test let's go make a couple of u-turns and see how this puppy maneuvers shall we all right let's go u-turns u-turns Oh wow, it actually has a very tight turning radius. A very tight turn radius. And I'm not even fully locked in. Dang. Okay. 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 <laughs> I like it. Uh. So you know what that means. It means it's time to do our second test. The pool test. <laughs> so I have it in sport mode. And let's go. Pool test. 
Holy crap! Holy crap! <laughs> wow! That thing is insane, man! This thing is insane! <laughs> wow! Like this, wow! I was just holding on for dear life! <laughs> I love it! All right, so let's talk about the first impressions of this motorcycle. The handlebars aren't really pulled, to, pulled back towards me. There's a little bit of a reach to get to the handlebars. It's not uncomfortable or it's not as crazy as it is on uh, like super sports and sports bikes. Uh, but there is a little bit of a reach for them. My legs are pretty comfy. I mean, they're not uh, they're not tucked in as much as they would be on a regular Ninja, but they are not very relaxed either, you know? And that engine though, oh, 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 that's the thing of, the engine is a thing of beauty. It's a thing of beauty. Yeah, <laughs> and those big brakes, man. Wow, they just go like bloop, bloop, bloop. No problem, <laughs> stopping, whatever, slowing you down. The mirrors are nice and big and you can actually see a lot behind you unlike unlike most sports bikes so that's a win wow. and the way the engine just spools the power up is incredible and look at it it'll just keep going in first gear it's insane and this is road mode and i'm not even giving a lot of gas but yeah just check this out like you know second gear doing about 26 3000 rpms give it gas holy <laughs> that power is insane and this is road mode and this is not even a pull test it's just a little twist of the throttle ah, a little curve coming up so let's see how this thing handles it okay not bad not bad at all okay holy crap man that power is just so instantaneous I like it <laughs> yeah that that's never gonna get old uh, that's the power the way it comes up holy holy moly so wind protection right that's a touring bike uh, wind protection is isn't bad I mean this does not have a big fairing in front but this little uh, windshield deflects a lot of wind and it's a hot day today I don't mind the wind at all uh, I'm getting a lot of wind on my upper body um, some on my legs but yeah none of it is bad like you know I'll, I'm digging it I don't know how it's gonna be on cold days <laughs> it might be a little too chilly and the balance look at check out that balance of this bike wow pretty well balanced for something that's quite big and heavy but in spite of that, I mean, it's a big heavy bike, yes, but it kind of carries its weight quite well, I'd say. And you give it some gas. Holy crap! <laughs> so this is not the first 200 horsepower bike that I've ridden, but it's the first supercharged motorcycle I've ever ridden in my life. And it's the same thing with all of these bikes, man the power is so addicting and it's just so ready the whole freaking time all right let's try out rain mode <laughs> so rain mode is gonna be the mode where all of your nanny systems the traction control abs wheelie control stuff like that are gonna be at their highest setting uh, idea of a rain mode is to make sure that you don't do stupid stuff when uh, traction conditions are compromised like if you're riding through rain and stuff where you know it's hard to get traction uh, the systems are gonna step in and uh, let's say you grab a grab a fistful of brakes or you just uh, you just twist the throttle too much it's gonna make those changes accordingly and not let you spin out and get into get into a lot of trouble so that's that's the premise of a uh, rain mode and let's see what rain mode means on a supercharged motorcycle <laughs> let's take this we're in fourth gear 47 doing 47 miles per hour in rain mode and what happens if i give it some gas okay 
so it's still that the supercharger still kicks in with that little whine but it does take a little longer than it did in road mode so i guess <laughs> that's winning so sport mode is the funnest mode as you would have imagined by the name <laughs> the throttle is really 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 direct oh wow so let's do a rolling pull test in sport mode uh fourth gear 44 let's go down to third yeah <laughs> that supercharger and that power the torque just kicks right in <laughs> 101 pound feet of torque man that's insane so i quite like this seat it's a big long and wide seat so what you can do is like you can scoot around on it quite easily and it's got decent amount of padding uh, not very uncomfortable and the way you sit you kind of hug the tank with your legs and that just gives you more confidence because <laughs> that's what you're supposed to do anyways and you're supposed to keep your arms loosey-goosey so you can you know just flick the bike around yeah. okay so i've been trying the quick shifter out uh on my ride and the quick shifter has been hit or miss for me it's worked really well a few times and sometimes it just doesn't want to do it so i kind of have to pull the clutch in to do it uh, uh, as far as quick shifters are concerned i i think uh ducati and bmw they probably make the best quick shifters they're just so seamless both up and down uh, let's answer our important questions <laughs> is this a good bike for commuting it's got a whole lot of power it's not uncomfortable by any stretch of the imagination uh, you might have to carry a backpack if you don't get the panniers but if you get the panniers and the luggage uh, and the tour pack and stuff like that you should be fine it should be not an issue at all and you're gonna get to work with a stupid grin on your face and yeah you're gonna love it <laughs> love going to work right you're gonna love going to work do, 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 do. what about touring bro man is this a good bike for touring well this is a sport touring bike of course and if you get the if you get the panniers and the tool pack and stuff you'll have some storage space and a lot of storage space apparently the, as for the power this bike has plenty of power both torque and horsepower i don't know if i would take it cross country necessarily like a couple of hundred miles a few hundred miles you should be just fine and you'd be eating up those miles like really quick <laughs> but you also run the risk of getting speeding tickets because this bike just loves to just freaking go 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 all the time <laughs> what about beginners bro man is this a good bike for beginners i'm gonna paraphrase our old friend the professor and say it's not just a no it's a hell no this is not a beginner bike at all well, it's a thirty thousand dollar bike almost a thirty thirty thousand dollar bike weighs 600 pounds has the 197 horses and 101 foot pound of torque and the power of this motorcycle is just freaking 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 in insane so no this is not a bike for beginners but what about the cost of ownership bro man what about the cost of ownership So in conclusion, this is the Kawasaki Ninja H2 SX SE. So yeah, if you are looking for a bike, a sport touring bike with the supercharged engine, the supercharged character, yeah, that's something that's going to be stupid fun. Yeah, this might just be the bike for you. But keep in mind, at that price point, you're not, you're still going to be missing out on some of the features you get from the competition. No adjustable windshield. No. Uh, no heated seats and stuff like that but you get a lot and you, you're gonna be smiling and grinning like a child the entire time so if that's you head on down to your closest kawasaki dealer take one out for a spin and check it out for yourself or if you want this one this only has 243 miles on it it's on sale here at motorcycles of greensboro well thanks for watching you guys keep your knees in the breeze and i'll see you soon bro out